Let me say this, right? The American Negro will never have a friend. Ever. We've been in this shit by ourselves the whole time. Period. We always been fighting white supremacy. We always gonna have to. That's our role. That's what we do. We fighters. We've been fighting this monster motherfucking tooth and nail. They've been, they've been kicking our ass for a long time, but we still got to keep fighting, y'all. We by ourselves in this shit. We can't trust the immigrants. Hindsight is twenty twenty. We fought for these people to come over here and not look at it. This shit blew up in our face. Ain't that fucked up? We fought for these people. White people didn't want these people over here. I didn't realize that. I used to think just like you. Oh, these people come here for a better life and they come here to, you know, to do better. And you know what I mean? But now we get up close on these people and we realize these people ain't nothing but white supremacists. That's what they is. These people jealous of us. We never had to flee. We never went nowhere for a better life or to, 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 to do better. We, we made it better right here. We made it better for them people. For these immigrants and all that shit, we made it. They doing a lot better than they than they was over there. This the promised land for them. This this the land of milk and honey for them. This been a horror story for us. This this been a good old fashioned American nightmare. We've been dealing with this beast, with this devil. Now we got new white supremacists coming in. Can you believe it? Can you believe that? These people claim they running from oppression. They running from 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 poverty they come to america and they worship white people the people that did not want them here and they hate us the ones that fought for you to be here ain't that unbelievable these people don't got no honor no integrity I didn't realize that. I thought just like you. Like, oh, these people about to come over here and, you know, these people just hear better life shit. I ain't paying them no attention. No attention. Like, oh, yeah, they here for a better life. You know, like, who gives a fuck? Like, you know, they ain't, you know, fuck them. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, not fuck them, but fuck them. Like, fuck them. As long as they don't bother me, I ain't, who cares what they do? Like, that's how I thought. Like, you know what I mean? Until I start getting out here in this world and I start seeing, damn, these people hate me. What the fuck? Where the... What's that about? You don't know who I am? My people fought for you to be here. Now, let me say this, right? Growing up, right? I grew up in an all-black neighborhood. You go the whole day without seeing another race. Maybe the A-Rab at the store or something like that, but for the most part, no. Nothing. Nobody lived around us. Maybe one white family, stayed, they stayed to themselves. You barely see them. Maybe one Latino family they might come out and fuck with us, but never like they might, they usually stay to they self, some shit like that. But other than that, it was all black. So I had no, really no exposure growing up with the immigrant. My, my mother uh, had a Puerto Rican boyfriend. He lived in the house with us. Everybody in the neighborhood uh, would treat him regular, treat him like a regular person, like a regular, he, he was part of the neighborhood. He would work on this guy car and work on, uh, uh, you know, take this lady trash out, you know, in between his jobs and shit like that. Like he, he lived in the house with us, you know what I mean? But we didn't consider him to be an immigrant or any different or none of that. Like he was just my mother boyfriend type shit. He just happened to be a Puerto Rican. We didn't give a fuck. Like nobody cared. Nobody considered him to be nothing different, but just one of us. He was a part of the community. But other than that, you didn't really see no immigrants just walking around, going to the store. It wasn't, they wasn't around. They wasn't around. So I had no exposure. I didn't realize that these people was like that. And my only exposure was the Arabs at the store or my mother boyfriend, but he was like black type shit. We didn't, we did not look at him at all like that at all. At all as an immigrant or none of that shit. We didn't look at him at uh, nothing but just his name was Johnny. That's just Johnny. Yeah. Johnny, they used to call him Johnny Bravo. 
You know what I mean? After the cartoon character Johnny Bravo, and everybody knew him. Hey, Johnny, what's up? Hey, everybody. Yeah, he was like, he was my stepfather. It wasn't no big deal. We ain't them type of people. We know we black people is not racist. We accept everybody. Motherfuckers running around here, Asians running around here calling themselves niggas. Latinos running around here calling themselves niggas. Arabs running around here calling themselves niggas. And we on better eye. We need to start checking that too, y'all. Because these is not niggas. They was not here with us. But anyway, I didn't realize that these people are really white supremacists. Until I sat back and thought about it. Until I started going out into this world. And I started growing a beard. And I started to get taller. And I started realizing that people see me as a black man. And they hate black men. I'm like, what is this about? I'm, I couldn't believe it. I don't know. I, I was never raised to be... Racism, none of that shit. To even look at these people like that. I wasn't, you know, like, I wasn't thinking of them like that. But they like that. Yeah, they like that. These people white supremacists. These people white supremacists. Then I had to sit back and really, I said, these people hate me, right? Why? So it made me think, right? Because I'm the type of person, I like to get to the answers and to the results. So I said, what is this? I started looking back in these people's culture. You know, it's, you know, like this guy, he'll tell me he's an East Indian. I'm like, why the fuck would the East Indian hate us? I started looking back and then I said, why do Latinos hate black people? Hmm. What would make an Asian hate black people? Hmm. I'm looking around, I'm starting researching this shit and I realized this. These people worship white people. That's why they hate us. Yeah, see, you got to look at it like this, right? I'm a full-blooded American Negro. I'm a foundational black American. I'm an American descendant of slaves. I have no immigrants in my family at all. I don't got no white people in my family, none of that. No Latinos, none of those um, um, Native Americans, not the Native Americans, not the, the ones that look kind of white, you know, like the, no, I ain't got none of that. I ain't got none of that. Any Native American in my family was on the plantation. He was a nigger. He was a slave. Yeah. So I so I started researching these people. I'm like, what is this about? And I started realizing this, though, that these people don't know what the fuck going on. They just, they see this as a white country, and it's okay to hate black people. They following white people, but they don't know. White people never even wanted you over here. I know you didn't. I would, you would think that these people would do the research on where they going. But these people are desperate. The immigrant is desperate. What would make you throw away everything? You gotta be desperate. And you hear the kiss white people ass. They all understand that. If they tell you they don't know what I'm talking about, they're a motherfucking lie. Yes, they do understand exactly what I'm talking about. But white people don't even like them. They don't care. They don't care. White people don't even like them. White people did not want them over here. Period. Now, let's do this, right? Because I'm going to let an immigrant tell you. Right? Now, this is what happened, right? Uh, well, no. Let's go through each one of them. One by one. Then I'm going to play the video. The Latino. Latinos are notoriously racist towards black people. They racist in Latin America. Towards, towards black people. I got the videos if you want to do it. Yeah, I got all the videos. Yes, I got the videos. But, but this ain't about that. I'm just pointing this out. They racist towards black people down there. Down there in Latin America. Because some of the slaves went there. And it was black people already in Latin America before the slaves came. This Latino is anti-black. That's why you got Latinos uh, joining the Proud Boys and trying to join these white supremacist groups. And, and, they, and they in America, immigrating to America, talking about they hate black people. Unbelievable. Why you ain't just stay at home? Because they couldn't make it at home. We got the Asian. Asians worship white people over there. I already told y'all about that. Go watch that Vice News doc documentary. Rent a white guy. The white people clowning them like they lames. Like they playing with them like they lames. But it's a part of their culture. They buy white friends. They pay white people 
money to be their friend. If you, if you think I'm making this shit up, go look at the documentary, the Vice News documentary. It's lame as fuck. It's super lame. Who else we got? The East Indian. He just he just an Asian. They worship white pe people too. Who else? Um, the African. Unbelievable. See, in our mind, we thinking that the Africans is like us because they look like us. See, looks is just superficial. What's under the hood? Yeah, what's under the hood? That's what we need to start checking. Where these people come from? What they culture look like over there? They still over there worshiping white Jesus. I ain't making that up. Big ass statues of white Jesus doing like this and shit. Still hanging up in Africa. Yeah. What is going on with that? That's the goofy shit. The Africans and the Africans love to tell you. They love to try to stun on us. You know what I mean? Oh, I go back. Yeah, I can go back to the beginning. They always get in that bag. I go back to the beginning. If I go back to my, if I was to get deported, I could go right back to my village. No, you can't. It's, it's a lie. Don't stop falling for that. Stop falling for that. And if you can go back to the beginning, let me ask any African this. If you can go back to the beginning, right? Real, true story. If you can go back to the beginning, what was your white, uh, what was your God before white Jesus? I want to know so I can look it up and see if you're telling the truth. Yeah, if you really know that, leave it in the comment section because I really would like to know that. I'm not being funny or nothing. I know everybody think I'll just be cracking jokes and shit. Yeah, that's just my personality. But no, I'm serious though. What was your God before white Jesus? Because I want to research it. I want to look it up. I'm curious. That might be the answer. Yeah, that might be the answer. If you can go back so far, but we got these, got the African that look like us. But not like us. But how could they be? We asking the African for too much. Yeah, we asking them for too much. Too much. Too much. Just because they look like us, that don't mean that they we come from a from a people that, that was talking about say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. Huh man. That's the huh, that's us. We've been fighting this devil tooth and nail. We've been living right next door to him. Right next door to him. The whole time, 400 straight years, tooth and nail. Ben, they've been our oppressor right on top of us, tooth and nail. We've been, they've been right on top of us the whole time. Our whole history with these people been white people oppressing us, sabotaging us, doing evil, wicked, devil shit to us. When the Africans get oppressed by white people, they do it from a puppet government. From, from a puppet government, they do it from afar. So they don't know about this stuff. They don't know. We they they just like any other immigrant. They come into America for a better life to look around. Just, yeah, I'm trying to make something out of myself because they can't do it over there. Let's take a look. Who who else I forget? Oh, they rap. They rap. Hate black people. Hate them. they make millions of dollars off us right in the right in the neighborhood, right in the neighborhood. Um, hey, America saved them. They white supremacists too. Notice this. You've never seen an Arab get into it with nobody white. Maybe like a, a white crackhead who try to steal out their store or something, but they don't play with no white man. They don't, they don't play with them. They ain't got nothing to say. They be real aggressive with you though. Cause they know they can pick that phone and be like, do, 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 do. Yeah, they play little English games. I, I seen it. I seen it with my own two eyes. So don't act like they don't, don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, and then they white supremacists too. Yeah. America, right now, you can look this up for yourself. You know, America blowing them up right now. They they just dropped, dropped all types of bombs in Syria and all that type of shit. Right? Yesterday type shit. Literally. Yesterday. What's today? Literally yesterday. Huh? Today, March 1st. Today the 1st. March 1st. Yesterday, what was yesterday? February something. Yeah, they dropped bombs on them yesterday. Iran is going up in smoke. And what these Arabs over here going to do? Sit back and watch and do nothing. Sell you some pork in their store. They, they sell pork. Yeah, these white supremacists. These ain't the real shout out to the Arabs that's banging, fighting, trying to keep their lineage and their heritage and their culture and their history. Yeah, not these ones. They white supremacists. They, you can blow them up. They, Syria must got a lot of oil, boy. America, yeah, America about to be in the Middle East for at least another 20 years until that oil dry. They need all of it. 
it must come out of there. And it, it's it is coming up out of there. And and if and if Iran don't chill, it's going kaboom. Period. That bitch blowing up. All right. Now who else do we got? Anybody? All the immigrants. They worship white people. I'm gonna tell you why. See us. We see white people as our oppressor. That's true. The whole time these people had it in slavery, all types of laws, all types of they plant drugs in, in neighborhoods, plant drugs on niggas. They hate you. They sabotage you. They give you the, uh, diseases. Uh, what else they done did to us? Uh, babies to alligators, cut your foot off, cut your dick off. Goddamn. Yeah, what else they done did? Just uh, drag you, hook you up to a back of a pickup truck, drag you up the street. Goddamn lynch you. Goddamn rape you. Set you on fire while you alive. Like, this has been the monster for us. For the American Negro, this has been our devil. Personal devil. Our own personal devil. I don't give a who you is. You got to give me that one. You can make up you. You can make up anything you want. You can make up anything you want. This has been our own personal devil. Our own personal devil. Right here. Right next door type shit. Yeah, right next door. I got white people that live on my street. I try to avoid them because I because I'm gonna end up having to kill one of them for that caring shit. Yeah, that's what they do. They carrying you, they dive in your way, fall on the ground, call the police. These people wicked. Yeah, these people wicked for us. It's been a, it's been a nightmare. It's been a nightmare living around these people. A real nightmare. A horror movie. Horror movies ain't even this fucked up. I ain't never seen goddamn uh, Freddy Cougar lynch a nigga. I ain't never seen Michael Myers throw a baby to an alligator and he live uh, goddamn uh, uh, Camp Crystal Lake. Don't go Dutch Jason. Jason ain't never fed no baby to no alligator and he on Crystal Lake, Camp Crystal Lake. This ain't, they ain't got no shit. They made goddamn Freddy and all them niggas and Chucky and all them niggas look like child's play. They make them look like bullshit. That white man, that nigga wicked. Yeah, no, nah, that, that he is wicked. He wicked, period. He has been our devil. He's been our oppressor. He has been our oppressor. He's been their savior. He's been their savior. That's why these immigrants will never be our friend. Cause, cause he has been our oppressor. And he's been their savior. Think about this though. They don't know that we fought for them. They didn't, they don't know none of that. And white people the ruling class. White people the ruling class. You ain't getting in this bitch without the white approval. So they the ruling class. So they gon' they came here. You gotta think. These people didn't get drugged here. They they didn't get drugged here. They came here voluntarily. Fuck voluntarily. They begged to come here. They fought to come here. These people will flow here on the inner tube. These people will swim here. It's motherfuckers that swam to America. These people will uh, walk here on foot for a month. Walk, fuck it, I'm going this way. I'm America that way, I'm going to give a fuck what type. Whatever I encounter, wherever I got to sleep, I'm getting on this land. I don't give a fuck. This is the promised land for them. They walk here. They'll walk here with a book bag and a baby. Literally. That's all they got is a book bag and a baby. Unbelievable. Un unbelievable. I would never do that. I'm going to make it work. Fuck it. We going fishing. We going hunting. I ain't fucking. Yeah, I ain't. I would never do that, but I don't come from them type of people. My people fight. You know what I'm saying? We fight to make it better. But they come here with a book bag and a baby. Can you imagine a baby is tough to deal with? It's hot as shit, all types of shit. Babies get frustrated. You get frustrated. A book bag and a baby. Say nothing I made up. I ain't make that up. Goddamn walk across the desert for, for two days with two gallons of water in the hot desert sun just to get here. Foot all fucked up, all types of shit to get here. Die, kill. Hop in the back of a, a semi truck. You don't know. You don't even know the driver. Just drive. Fuck it. Let's try it. Goddamn on the train. I seen some shit. They was on trains coming to this bitch. We're like not on a cargo train with seats. No, I'm on the top of a train holding on to a piece of metal. These people mail themselves here. Come here in a shipping container. Just yeah, what? I'm supposed to trust you that, that, that in four months later I'm going to be in America? Fuck it. 
Let me get in this shipping container. You don't know where this shipping container going going to end up. It'll be fucked up. Wouldn't that be fucked up if you get in the shipping container for four months in this shipping container? You living and eating, sleeping, breathing in this shipping container, and you get out of the shipping container and you right back in the same spot. <laughs> you right back in the same spot. That'll be fucked up. That'll be fucked up. That's fucked up. They come here in the shipping container. I'm not making this shit up in a shipping container. You can blow their country up, literally. Blow up their heritage. Blow this shit up. They still a pray to get here. Pray to Allah five times a day. Please let me go through America. That type shit. So this the promised land for them. And this and these white people hate us. So they always going to be on the white side. Because white people are the ruling class. They, they the dominant society. <laughs> I'm thinking about that shipping container thing. Thing <laughs> that's fucked up. You say you on the ocean, you on the ocean, you going through a seasick, eating food, eating all your food, can't shower nothing. Goddamn! Four months later, you wake up and you get out the shipping con container and you right back at the same port you was at. All right, man. <laughs> let me get into the video. I'm gonna let the immigrants tell you. This ain't nothing I made up. You know, I'm a lying ass nigger. You know, niggers always lying and making excuses. And yeah, this shit you can look up for yourself. Everybody, now let me say this, right? The immigration bill of 1965, that was with the civil rights bill and all that shit of 1964 or five, or I don't know. But we was out there fighting for y'all, for these immigrants to come over here and it blew up in our face. That's what I'm trying to say. I done went on a long rant about nothing. All right, I'm about to get into it. Listen, we have been fighting. You can look this shit up for yourself. We fought for these people. We fight for everybody else to get free and everybody shit on us. Without us, white people wouldn't have been free, been able to break free from Great Britain. Everybody else get free off our back and we get shitted on at the end. We ain't got no friends. We need to start fucking with each, with each other. Every time we help somebody, it blow up in our face. Now listen, I'm going to let him tell you. I'm going to let the immigrants tell you. You know, the immigration bill of 19... Nope, that ain't the one. I'm going to get to that later. What's this? Blue? Hold on, let me do this. All right, now you can look at this shit yourself. And by the way, look at this shit. There's two immigrants talking about America, right? They came here for a better life type shit. I guess, I don't know. They came here for a, for a better life. If I got to get a better life, let me say this, right? See, I come from an oppressed people. Yeah, I come from a people that fight for everybody. So if I got to go somewhere else to oppress another people and kiss another people's ass just for a better life, I'm going fishing. Yeah, I'm going fishing, baby. Yeah, let's build this shit right here, y'all. Fuck all that. Yeah, fuck all that. Like, it ain't worth it. What, the fact that I'm able to drive a car and have some AC? What else is it? Like, it ain't really shit else. Like, what, what else do you need? Like, ain't, like, what the fuck? I don't know what you would be going through because my people never ran. We never, we stood and fought. And we're going to continue to stand and fight because that's what we do. That's who we is. We is who we is. But if I got to do, if I got to travel all across the fucking world and oppress, help oppress another pe people just for what? To escape my oppression. And well, why is you even oppressed? Let me say that, this too. Hold on, let me say this. Let me get it clear who I'm talking to. I'm talking to everybody who immigrated to this country. I'm going to your grandfather or whatever. Y'all came here voluntarily. Y'all said, huh? The Latinos, the Africans, the East Indians, Asians, Arabs, Martians, whoever on this land, y'all came here voluntarily. Y'all threw y'all heritage away. Y'all threw y'all culture away. Yeah. Now, what do you, you know, some of y'all get mad when I say that, but it's true. It's true. It's true. You didn't want to be like that no more. So you came over here. Now, don't come over. We made it so you can come over here. Don't come over here and hate us. Because think about this. You threw away the land of your ancestors. Your family been there for thousands of years. Thousands of years. And you forfeited that. Yeah, whatever they fought for, you forfeited that. Y'all ain't fought no fight on this land. Y'all y'all forfeited that. Whatever them people fought for. You threw away your culture, the way y'all dress and all that type of shit. This motherfucker's over here dressing like us now. 
sagging their pants and all types of shit, trying to be like me, wearing their jewelry like us, got their motherfucking hat to the back. I'm a nigga. It's this motherfucking Arabs, Asians, uh, Latinos calling themselves niggas. I ain't making this up, y'all. This, this is real. This is some real strange shit. Being black is strange, man. I'm telling you, it's just strange. You meet so many weirdos and that want to be you and hate you. But you but you threw away your culture. You threw away your diet. Your grandchildren is not about to be eating none of that shit that, that y'all was eating over there. That shit is over. You threw that away. That's very important. What you used to eat is very important. That's your tradition. You threw away your customs. Yeah, y'all ain't about to be fucking with that. Yeah, like, like I said, I seen the Chinese lady celebrating Thanksgiving. She not celebrating whatever feast days China, China got and all that. She ain't celebrating that shit. That shit over. That shit over. You throw away your language. Yeah, your language. Yeah, by the second, third generation, I'm going to say by the third gen generation, y'all don't speak that no more. Y'all don't even, you can't even identify with that. Yeah, I know Mexicans that can't speak Spanish. Oh God, I know Mexicans that can't speak Spanish. I know Puerto Ricans that can't speak Spanish. I put it on God. I put it right there. It's on yeah. It's on God. Right hand of God. Yeah. I know I I know Asians that that can't speak Mandarin or I don't know Thai or whatever they used to speak can't speak a lick of it. Arabs that that can't speak Arabic. It's right here, baby. I put it on God. I know that. Yeah. They can't go back over there. They like to talk shit. Oh, we doing this and we do that and we who the fuck is we? You ain't we no more. You an American trying to figure your way through this shit. You ain't got no culture. Everything was handed to you when you step on this land. Yeah, you ain't had to fight no fight. My people fought for you. Yeah, the American Negro fought for you. Fought for you. And y'all will come over here and shit on us. Y'all done threw away everything. Yeah, y'all can't speak that shit no more. Y'all don't speak them old languages and shit like that. That shit is a thing of the past. I put it on everything. Y'all can't speak none of that shit. None of that shit. And, and, and let's say if you do go back over there. When you go back, you a tourist. I swear, it's right here. Yeah, it's right here. I ain't, I'm not making this up. I put it right here. Yeah. I put it right here. Y'all can't speak none of that shit. Y'all can't. And it, you, you a tourist if you go over there. You look different. Yeah, you sound different. Even, even, even if you can still speak the Spanish or the Arabic or the French or whatever, I don't know what y'all speak over there. You you going to speak it with an accent. They ain't going to be to understand you, right? Like a tourist. Yeah, yeah. You going to dress different like a tourist. You don't dress like that no more. Yeah, when you you might go over there and, and say, I want to eat, eat at that restaurant I ate when I was a kid or I want to try this dish. It's going to be like me trying it. Yeah, it's going to be a new experience all over again for you. Yeah, yeah, because you ain't that no more. You threw that away. Yeah, you threw that away. If you do go back over there, you ain't you ain't from there no more. You you gonna feel different. The energy gonna be different. You gonna have the energy of a tourist. You gonna you gonna smell different. Yeah, you exposed to some whole different stuff. They keeping their culture going over there. You ain't part of that culture no more. You trying to figure out who you is over here. Right now, y'all in limbo. Yeah, in my opinion, it takes two, three hundred years to build a culture. Y'all have built no culture. Y'all have fought no fights. Everything was handed to you. You you fought no fights on this land, immigrant. None. My people fought for you. Yes, the American Negro fought for you. It was right here. Yeah, y'all threw away y'all land. Yeah, the immigrants threw away their land, bro. Land, the land of their ancestors. Yeah, because they wanted it. Yeah, because they wanted this. Yeah, they wanted this. Yeah, that's why I keep that right there. Yeah, because that's what they after. Yeah, they they didn't they didn't they not the ones. They not the tough ones. They 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 not the tough ones. The tough ones is still over there and got no intention on immigrating to America, Europe. Where else did niggas immigrating to? Goddamn uh uh shit uh, Canada. None of that. They staying there and they keeping it Asian. They keeping it African. They keeping it uh. Goddamn, uh, what else? Uh, they keeping it, uh, Latino. They keeping it, goddamn, um, Middle, Middle East, uh, Arabic. They keeping it like that. Y'all, these, these people over here, no, they didn't like that no more. This ain't nothing I made up. They threw away their land. 
Yeah, the land of their ancestors. They they can't even communicate with their ancestors now. How? They don't speak that language no more. You need it again? It's right here. I put it on God. Right here? Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had a Bible in this bitch. Oh, yeah. Damn, I should have a Bible in this bitch. Yeah. But yeah, right here. I put my hand on the Bible and right here. Yeah. I'm telling you. How you gonna how you gonna talk to your ancestors? Them ain't even your ancestors no more. Yeah, that ain't your ancestor no more. This your new ancestor. This who your children gonna learn about, who your uh great grandchildren gonna learn about. You know what I mean? Like I like I said before, it take two, three hundred years. And you gotta fight a fight to build a culture. Y'all ain't fought no fight, you piggybacking on somebody else's culture. Yeah, y'all ain't got no culture. I'm sorry. What have what work have you put in to build a culture? None. You ain't fought no fight. Why do you think it ain't no Latino Malcolm X? It ain't no Arabic uh Harriet Tubman. It ain't no goddamn Asian uh Marcus Garvey or Martin Luther King. Why you think they don't got no freedom fighters on this land? You don't know nobody who fought for freedom on this land but black people. White people fought for freedom from the uh, British. You know what I mean? But they was fighting to keep their slaves and all that type of weird old white devil shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they ain't fought no fight. The immigrant ain't fought no fight. Everything been handed to them off the hard work of the American Negro. The American nigger. The American nigger. The goddamn... Foundational Black Americans, the American descendants of slaves, the the uh, the uh, descendant of American slaves, those niggas was here, and we still here. And once y'all try to build y'all, like I said, take about two three hundred years to build up a culture. In my opinion, it take about two three hundred years to build a good culture. Yeah, to build a culture, some sturdy to stand on and say, yeah, my people have done this and done that. Yeah, and you got to fight a fight. They making up, they manufacturing the fight. Now the Asians is under attack. That's rubbish. Throw it away. Yeah, but it take that long to build a um, culture. And after two, three hundred years, let me say this right to you. And I mean this. I'm about to put it right in there one more time. After two, three hundred years of, a, a, of being on this land and building a culture, Yo, um, what I want to say, descendants ain't going to look nothing like you. Nope. Y'all going to mix in. You think you coming over here and you getting a white girl. Yeah, I'm about to, yeah, I'm getting me a white girl. You fucking up your bloodline. Yeah, you fucking up your bloodline with that. Oh, shit, I like them big booty black girls, you know, yeah. You fucking up your bloodline. Fucking up your bloodline. Yeah, y'all going to mix all together. And that, let's see how these people look. This, uh, what, what's this? March 1st, 2021. Let's see how these people look. March 1st, what is it? 2023. I bet they don't look the same. I bet you you don't look the same. If this video is still standing up in 200 years, pull out a picture of your ancestor that immigrated here. They ain't gonna look nothing like that. It's right here. It's right here. Now, anyway, we fought for these people and these people come over here and shit on us. Because white people is their savior. And this white man, I don't know what it is. He hate us. He hate us. And he did the fucked up shit to us. I think it's from the most high. I'm telling you. It's, it's got to be. That's the only thing that makes sense. To where you would go out your way to oppress the people that you did wrong. You did us bad. We ain't never did nothing to no white people. Okay, no white people say nothing that a nation of black people did to them. Nothing. We never put them in no slavery, cheated them, sabotaged them, did nothing. Nothing. Now, let me get back to the videos, man. Cause this, I see this going to be long. I meant for this to be like 40 minutes, but you know me. I'll go off on you. All right. Now, you can look this up for yourself. Now, like I'm saying, look at this. Invisible no more. In a invisible no more. These two immigrants talking. Look this up for yourself. Invisible no more. This what they saying, invisible no more. They saying, oh, okay, we're here now. Let's do something. Bro, we, listen, let me tell you this, right? Y'all lucky. Y'all lucky. For one, you didn't have to have fight, no fight. You come right over here. You elevate it over us. Or let me tell the immigrants, if you're an immigrant, think about coming to America. Let me tell you how to make it in America. Two things you got to do. 
kiss white people ass whenever they feel like they want you to re they want uh to remind themselves of their dominance over you. So at work or someone they say a little race joke or whatever or they do some bullshit. You gotta all right, I, yeah, I forgive you. You gotta do that type of shit. You gotta kiss ass. Yeah, you gotta suck ass. And what else you gotta do? Have just a little bit of ambition. And shit, you got a golden ticket. Period. Yeah, you're gonna have to work hard. I know you uh, I came to this country and worked hard. You ain't fought no fight. You ain't fight to be free. My people fought for you to be free. I'm gonna let an immigrant tell you. But they say that they feel invisible. The immigrant, you've seen that. The name of the video is Invisible No More. Black people, don't we wish we can be invisible and just live our life like we we tired of fighting? Like, God damn, shit, you lucky. You fought no fight and you invisible. What more do you want? You know that is you're bored, man. You know that ain't nobody paying you no attention. Nobody's paying you no attention. That's why they trying to make the Asians a, a problem now. They trying to get manufacture them a problem. So what? Some people called you coronavirus. Did they kill you about it? Did they hang you about it? Is they planting drugs on you about it? Yeah. Damn, y'all some fucking babies, man. Y'all got it. Y'all got it good. You, you got it good. Y'all couldn't make it over there. None of y'all immigrants couldn't make it over there. If you can make it over there, you'll still be over there. All right, I'll go back into a rant. Come on. Stability and injustice. For the longest time growing up, race in America was looked at through a black and white dichotomy. And, and it still is. You have to jump on the white side or the black side because y'all are invisible. Nobody's thinking about you. You have to dive in the way. You have to dive in the way and be like, I'm here. What do I have to do? I got to shock you. Maybe I have to call you a nigger or some shit or, or act like I'm uh, y'all beat me up and nail. I mean, uh, um, I like uh, black people are attacking me. You have to, cause you have no culture, bro. I'm sorry. Immigrants have no culture. Immigrants have no culture, so they got to make one. They dive on anything. That's why they hate black people. Or they, I'm a nigger. I'm a nigger. Do you know? Hold on, let me say this. It's, it's, it's a Latinos arguing with, try to argue with me about how much of a nigger he is. You a nigger? How? You want a nigger down there in South America? You want a nigger in Latin America? It's, it's Arabs arguing with you about how much of a nigger they is. How? You want a nigger when you was over there in the desert? You want no nigga? And let me say this too. These people hate us because all the shit that we was able to do under oppression. You were sitting there for thousands of years and you couldn't do nothing. These people from the jungle. These people from the desert. Yeah, which that's cool. But don't come over here and hate us and we fought for you to get here. That's ridiculous. But let me say this, right? Let me get back on topic. That's why he's saying that racing was always black and white. Because there's always been a black and white thing. This is not about you. This is not about you. You got lucky. You got lucky that you in America. This is not about you. You fought no fight on this land. This is not about you. This is about us and this monster. But I'm gonna let him talk to you, man, cause I'm going all the way off topic. I should have did another video, but I'm putting all this on the same shit. Nigga, deal with it. We were kind of in the middle thinking, hey, where do we participate in this conversation? Huh? And they looking for participation. That's why they dive on you, black people, because they don't have no fight. Yeah, sometimes people just get bored. You know what I mean? Like they want to be in the conversation. Yeah, that's it. They want attention. They said they feel invisible. Somebody that feel invisible wants attention. So they dive in, they diving in. Bro, you need to sit back and just enjoy this America shit and be free. You know what I mean? Cause you ain't, if you ain't coming to help us, that's what we intended for you to come over here and help us. Yeah, but it's shit, if you ain't coming over here to help, help us, we already, we been fighting this devil. We don't need you. Yeah. We don't need you helping them. All right, I'm gonna let it go ahead. Let me, let me rewind it, man. I'm talking too much. Come on with it. And we were kind of in the middle thinking, hey, where do we part racial instability and injustice? For the longest time growing up, race in America was looked at through a black and white dichotomy. And we were kind of in the middle thinking, hey, where do we participate in this conversation? And the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Immigration Act of 1965 
were two seminal pieces of legislation that allowed my family to get here. So Dr. King fought for immigrants like my dad to be able to come here in 1982. He actively fought for us to be here. So it is our job to participate not only in civic engagement, but racial and economic injustice, because that is what Dr. King wanted. But so right. He got it. He got it. That's why we fought for y'all to get over here. Yeah, that's why we fought for y'all to get over here. He got it right there. Now you can look that up for yourself. Look that up for yourself. The immigration bill of 1965, it was part of the civil rights struggle. We fought for y'all to get over here and it blew up in our face bad, y'all. Bad. That's, that, that's why I say well, the Negro will never have a friend on this land. Period. Probably ne will never have a friend friend. It's a bunch of fake motherfuckers that want to be, I'm a nigga, yeah, I'm with the niggas now because they lost and they couldn't figure it out. Yeah. But other than that, that we will never have a genuine friend. Ever. Ever. Nope. 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 That He got it. He understand. He a real one. That's a real one right there. We can fuck with him. We can fuck with him. He ain't got no reason to do that. That's from the heart. He a real one. Shout out to him. Shout out to him. His name, Hassan, some shit. I forgot what his name, but it, yeah, we fuck with you, Hassan. Yeah, we fuck with him. Yeah, we can take him. Send the other ones back and get the fuck out of here. Now, the fact that you would do that, though, the fact that you would shit on us after we fought for you. Now, let me tell you about this, right? We was over here. My family been here. Been here. I'm from the plantation, baby. I'm from the plantation, direct. I have no immigrants in my family. My, my family go back to the South, and them niggas still there. Georgia, Miss, Mississippi, Alabama, them my niggas down there. They still right there. Yeah, we in Cleveland now. A lot of us is in Cleveland. We still in America. We ain't went nowhere. We ain't ran off. We ain't went nowhere for a better life. We ain't went nowhere for more opportunity. When we was poor, we dealt with it. Yeah, when we was poor, we dealt with it, uh, with it. We went fishing. We went camping. We went hunting. When they blew us up, they blew up our little cities and towns and shit too when we tried to get away from white people. Yeah. Black Wall Street, Rosewood. What's that? Uh, uh, Wilmington, all that. They blew our shit up. We didn't run and flee and go to another country. White people blew us up in America. The United States government blew us up in America. Look it up. We didn't run. We didn't run. We dealt with it. We stayed in tough and we still fighting to this day. To this day, we still fighting. To this day, we still fighting. And we fought for y'all too. And these people came over here and shit it on us. Fuck these people. They was weak over there and they come over here and they weak. Now listen, this what happened, right? When it has always been immigrants coming to America, but they used to only mainly white, uh, mainly let the white immigrants come come in. Usually, like the uh, you know, that's why uh, like if you look back in the history of America, it was a lot of uh, Irish. They used to call them mix and shit. They didn't respect them. They didn't respect them when they came over here. When them white immigrants came over here, they they didn't respect them, but they knew to let them in to help with their nigger problem, to help with the niggers getting too deep. The niggers, too many niggers over here. That's why they the majority right now, because they was only letting white people in. My family been here probably before you, white man. More than likely, yes, before you, white man. Yeah, they started letting the Irish in, calling them mix, and the uh, the um, Italians in, calling them guineas and all that type of shit, grease balls and all types of shit. Yeah, they was getting off the boat sick and all types of shit. They was letting them in. And they and then they weren't considered white and they had no privilege and all that type of shit. But they was here as a motherfucking uh flunky, basically. As a flunky. Like all immigrants. Going, when you come to this country, you're gonna be white people's flunky. Yeah, that's why you gotta kiss their ass and have a little bit of ambition. But they uh so they was letting them in. You know what I mean? And we like, damn, they keep letting all these white pe people in. These white people hate us so much. That was part of the civil rights bill. We tried to add some di diversity to this bitch. Because in our mind, we thinking that if we add some, di some diversity, 
It could be, you know, it can be a, it, it can be what what America was intended to be for everybody. But little did we know, we let in the white supremacists, more white supremacists, just from different shades. They different shades of white supremacists. Now let me do this, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this video play for you. We're gonna watch this together. Me and you. Let's do it. The 1965 Immigration Act has to be seen first and foremost as a civil rights measure. It was passed at that time when uh, the U.S. Congress was passing a variety of civil rights laws. Of course, the 1964 Civil Rights Act and the 1965 Voting Rights Act. And those laws eliminated discrimination, racial discrimination, prohibited racial discrimination in public accommodations. Uh, and there was a feeling in Congress that that same notion of ending discrimination should also be applied to U.S. immigration policy. Up until 1965, U.S. immigration policy was heavily biased in favor of Europeans, and in particular Northern and Western Europeans. So tens of thousands of immigrant visas were reserved for Northern and Western Europeans, while Southern and Eastern Europeans, and especially Asians and Africans and Middle Easterners, had very little chance to immigrate to the United States. They were discriminated against on the basis of their national origins. Uh, and there was a feeling uh, across the country and in Congress that it was time to end that discriminatory practice. So the 1965 Immigration Act abolished what had been a this national origin quota system that had been in place for more than 40 years. People from all countries, nationalities, had more or less an equal opportunity to immigrate to the United States. So it was a really landmark uh, law in the history of U.S. immigration law. Now, for y'all immigrants, y'all believe everything else white people say? He, he told you, an immigrant told you, a white man told you, and I told you, and you can look it up for yourself. The fact that we fought for these people and these people come over here and shit on us. Shit on us. Hate us. And we've been right here fighting. It's unbelievable to me. It really is unbelievable that these people would lose in their homeland. Throw away all that. All right, that's cool. You want a better life? Come on. Come on. And we thinking that we getting allies. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We done got a whole lot of dark-skinned white supremacists. Basically, that's it. Now, let me do this, right? Now, this is an orchestrated effort by white people to oppress us, the Negro. I'm a, I'm a, I played this, uh, this video a couple times. But I'm going to prove my point. I'm going to let more immigrants tell you that this is an orchestrated effort. And they can see it too. Yes, you do know, immigrant. And if you don't know, you know now. After you watch this, uh, Latino. After you watch this, uh, Asian, Arab. East Indian, African, you know now what you gonna do about it now. Hold on, let me let me do this. What you gonna do about it now? Yeah, you know now we fought for you to be free. Without us, you wouldn't even be here. White people put you in position over us. They knock us down and boost you up. Period. And you know that. I'm about to let her tell you. I'm gonna let her tell you one more time, just for the sake of this video. I know I gotta play it again. In what ways have blacks been pitted oh, against Asians? Oh, White time. America no, tends to <laughs> privilege Asians and Asian Americans in ways that they do not our black and Latinx community members. Say it with your chest. Economic war against Hold Korean. On. Say it with your chest, baby. They do not our black privilege Asians and Asian Americans in ways that they do not our black and Latinx community members. She said, that's straight out the horse's mouth. Look. Mm -hmm. yeah. White America tends to privilege Asians and Asian Americans in ways that they do not our Black and Latinx community members. So That's straight out her mouth. That's straight out her mouth. She know what's going on. All of them do. They like to play dumb. That's part of white supremacy to play dumb. Don't matter what shade you is. Oh, what? 
Oh, racism? I'm an immigrant too. Yeah, I'm an immigrant too. I'm uh, I'm a minority too. Uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I'm I'm a minority, and uh, we and my people had to do this and uh, do that, and uh, yeah, no, 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 no. See, I'm not an immigrant. My people fought for you. My people fought for you. And white people did, did, did this is an orchestrated effort. She told you out of her mouth. She can see what's going on. Her people never fought no fight on this land. Tell you out her own mouth. They told you out her own. I'm a lying ass nigger. You know the niggers be, be lying. Yeah, I'm a lying ass nigger. I'm always playing a race card and I'm still mad about slavery and yeah, and all that. And yeah, that was a million years ago. Yeah, but what's she mad for? Why would she say that? Why would she say that? I'm going to let another immigrant tell you. I'm going to let another immigrant tell you. Out of, this out of immigrant's mouth. All right. My bad. The video was fucked up. Yeah, I had fucked the video up. I'm still new with this shit. But yeah, this, this is an orchestrated effort. This is an orchestrated effort for some reason. White people is going out their way to sabotage us. They'll help everybody else out. They'll make sure they go out their way to help everybody else out. And, and, the, and the immigrants know this too. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. They know this. They play dumb like they don't know what's going on. They can see. They got two eyes too. They ain't that stupid. They, they know what the fuck going on. They playing dumb. I'm going to let another immigrant tell you. Hold on. Let me do this. All right. This is an orchestrated effort. I seen this video on Instagram. Let me do this. Hold on. This motherfucker. I'm keep fucking this shit up. Huh? Alright, I'm gonna play this. Listen very carefully. Another immigrant gonna tell you. Yeah. Some Africans, not all, but some Africans feel that they're better than other people. I seen this video going around TikTok since yesterday, and Africans coming out saying that what he's saying is not true. When it actually is. There is a portion of Africans who believe that they're better than African Americans or Caribbeans. Because yeah, what happened when you come to the United States, right? You go through you go through immigration and they're always gonna be that white person approaching you, telling you, oh, you have to stay away from Africans American, you have to stay away from these neighborhoods and stuff because they will take they will take you to the the, the wrong path and stuff. You know, look, the Greek came up with this this like divide to conquer and that is what the white man try to do here and if you've seen all my videos all i talk about is the unification in the diaspora we are black people from africa no this ain't nothing i made up that was out of immigrants mouth i showed you two immigrants that said that two immigrants one of them said oh White people are, are pumping us Asians up and kicking the black people down. We all can see this. I know y'all want to play dumb. I like, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, bro, you're free, bro. Yeah, that's the uh, white people love to jump in that bag. Oh, you're free. What are you talking about? Yeah, where you from? Yeah, I'm suffering too. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's not easy for me either. Man, you know what's going on. That was one. They knocked the immigrants down. I mean, they, they knocked the black people down and pump up the Asians. This man from Africa. Imagine you coming to imagine you leaving America and you going to Africa and one of the Africans is approaching you in immigration saying, don't go over there and mess with those type of Africans. You'll be like, yo, uh, antenna's up already. You already hearing bullshit over there. And a white person tell you, don't mess with those black people. They going to steal you the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, this country ain't about that. They're bad. This is an orchestrated effort. What is this so? Why y'all keep piling up on us? Why y'all piling up on us? There's something more big going on. Something bigger than that. I think I know what it is. I think this from God. Now listen. I don't want to get too religious on you and all that type of shit, but mm, look like God trying to teach us a lesson. Serious business. I ain't the only one that think like this either. And black people ain't the only race of people that think like this. If you watching this movie, if you watching this shit play out, 
The American Negro is living out the curses in the Bible. We living it out. Anybody can see. You go through every curse. My people fit every curse in Deuteronomy. Every curse. That's a sign. We living it. We the only people on earth that's living out them curses. If, if the Bible is true, I'm saying if. I'm not all the way sure either. I believe in the most high. I believe in a higher power. I believe in somebody up there that's higher than all of us. Something up there higher, higher than all of us. As far as I go with religion, I read the Bible. Not as much as I should or not as much as I can. But I, but I do pick it up, read it. You know what I mean? Um, I believe in the curses of the Bible. That's supposed to be a sign so you know who God's chosen people is. We fit the curses. We fit those curses. We fit those signs. That's undeniable. I believe in uh, the uh, laws and statutes and commandments. I believe if we was all to live like that, it would be a better life for all of us. If we was all to follow the dollars, uh, uh, the, uh, all of the laws and the, uh, all the statutes and the commandments, I believe that that's a better life. That's as far as I go with it. And I believe that we, if the Bible true, we God's chosen people. Now, let's take a look at this, right? Now, I'm going to let this play for you, right? Yeah. I'm going to let this play for you. Hold on. Let's do this. Let's do this one. We're going to let this play for you. This ain't nothing. You can look this shit up for yourself. It's in Deuteronomy. Okay, my final offer. Oh, fuck that. The that woman there, $700. Please, buy my child. Oh, hold on, hold on. Who watched it? Yeah. Sir! Yeah. They used to, yeah, they used to sell us. They ain't never sold drugs. Hold on, let me, let me do this. Oh, yeah, this, this, yeah, that's the most high. Yeah, that's it right there. They used to sell us. They ain't never sold no Asians, no Latinos, no Africans, no none of that. They ain't never sold y'all. Look, they selling that woman's baby, her her children. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, it's on the same video though, huh? Deuteronomy twenty-eight forty-three. Oh, are you here? Go right here. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, huh. and thou shalt come down very low. The stranger. Other foreigners gonna move in where you live at and gonna be above you. They go own the stores, they go own the businesses, and you ain't gonna own nothing. And when your brother try to open something because you don't know we one people, you won't go to him, you gonna go to the foreigner. Huh. Didn't he say it? Now, didn't she just say that? She said that white people boost the Asians up. And kick the black people down, the ruling class, the same people who can storm the Capitol building with no gun. Those same people, yeah, that's so privileged they can do whatever they want. The ruling class, dominant society, the devil, who can do whatever they want. She said the same thing the Bible said. They're going to boost the foreigners up. Yeah, the foreigner going to be boosted up over you. Only one group of people in the world fit that curse. They, they, a lot of people like to say, oh, the Latinos are the God's chosen people too. How? How? They don't fit that curse. We fit all the curses. Don't you got to fit the curses to be God's chosen people? How do Latinos fit that? I can't go to Mexico and the Mexican government knocks the Mexicans down and boosts me up, help me get up over the Mexicans. It'll never happen. I can't go to Puerto Rico and do that. They ain't about to knock down the Puerto Ricans and, and, and boost my black ass up. I can't go to Venezuela and the Venezuelan government knocks down the Venezuela people and help me get up. The only one group of people in the world fit that where a foreigner can come into this land and the government will help them get up over you. That's undeniable. This ain't nothing I made up. That's two curses. It says God's chosen people will go into slavery on ships. And it says the foreigner among you, the stranger among you, would, 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 would rise higher and higher. And you would and you would go low. I'm paraphrasing, but I'm there. Let's do it again. Say nothing. No, you can look this up. Hold on. Which verse is that in Deuteronomy? Deuteronomy like 
28 and 30 something. Huh? Oh, let me double check. Because I want you to go look it up for yourself. Now, I ain't breaking your house and and, 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 and re read your Bible, did I? I ain't rewrite your Bible. I didn't break in your phone and doctor your phone while you looking it up. No, 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 no. Oh, hold on. Let me look that up one more time. Huh? Yeah, Deuteronomy 28 and 43. You can read that for yourself. That's a curse. I don't know no other group of people in the world. I can't go to uh, Iraq and the Iraqi government uh, kick their people down and boost me up. Can I go to Great Britain and they knock down the, the British people and boost me up? I can't go to, to, to Nigeria and the Nigerian government knocks me down and boosts them up? Yeah. See what I'm saying? This been a curse for us. It's been your promised land. That's why we will never have a friend on this land. We will never have a friend. The Negro will never have a friend. I'm going to play this one more time. This ain't nothing I'll say. He got a better speaking voice than, than, than me. You know, I'm stuttering and all types of shit. You know what I'm saying? Sir! So their baby, the devil. 2843. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. The huh, man. Huh. Didn't he say that? Don't play it again for you. Yeah, he said that stuff, too. He said it, too. Oh, one more time for you. In case you think I made it up. Look it up for yourself, too. Yeah. And thou shalt come down very low. The stranger, other foreigners gonna move in where you live at and gonna be above you. They go on the stores, they go on the businesses, and you ain't gonna own nothing. And when your brother try to open something because you don't know we one people, you won't go to him, you gonna go to the foreigner. Another problem we have. Deuteronomy 28, 44. Look what he says. He shall lend to thee. Amen. Thou shalt not lend to him. Huh. He shall be the head. And thou shalt be the tail. Look what else is in our neighborhood. Yeah, I ain't going to go no further than that. But hey, them, them curses that only we fit. We fit. That's the only, we, the only ones we fit. When when uh, we opened up our uh, little small towns and our businesses in Black Wall Street, when niggas was having mansions and all types of shit and hospitals, bowling alleys, we had our own little space. Our own space. The oppressor came. These people's savior, these immigrants' savior came and tore our shit down, burnt our shit down. I ain't seen a Chinatown go up yet. I ain't seen a Chinatown get set on fire yet. If you don't believe me, well, white man, if a white man getting mad at this, I want you to go and get the good old boys and y'all go burn down to Chinatown. Start there. Yeah, spread it around then. If this shit all made up and nobody's oppressing you and you guys are still mad about slavery, go and burn down to Chinatown. Put some drugs in the fucking uh, in the, uh, Asian community. Put some, put some drugs in the uh, Arabs community. Yeah, go get them syphilis or something. Go burn down Dearborn, Michigan. I swear, as I thought I was in the Middle East. Yeah, I thought there's so many Arabs up there. I was like, oh my God, I was in uh, uh, the trial. I went to the, to the mall. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Where are they? Where do all these people come from? Like, what the fuck just happened? Like, yeah, they all over that bit. They even in the hood in Detroit. Unbelievable. Go burn down some of that shit. Go sabotage them. Go tear down. Go burn down. I want for all these foreigners to say, I worked hard on my business and all No, no, no. Yeah, you had to work hard. Yeah, but you ain't went through nothing. Everybody got to work hard to start a business. Everybody. But I want to know, for every foreigner that, that watched this say, I worked hard for my business. They, they did what they had to do. They came to America and make it. You guys couldn't make it. Nobody burnt down your stuff. Nobody constantly sabotaging you over and over and over and over and over and over to where they had, where they had even push up an immigrant and push you down so the immigrant could be a buffer. Yeah, you ain't been through that when you built your... Let's, let me ask you this. To every immigrant who said, I worked hard to start my business and all that. What if some white people came to your business right now, that business you worked hard to start? Let's say if some immigrants, I mean, if some white people came over there and burnt it down to the ground, everything in it, 
burnt your car down, burnt all your, burnt your car down, all your possessions, then set your house on fire and killed your son and raped your daughter. And you don't get no insurance money for it or they don't go to jail or nothing. Would you be able to do it again? Would you be able to do it again? Would you be able to do that again? Hell no, you won't be able to do that again. I don't want to hear that shit. Hell no, you would not be able to do that again. Listen, the white people are their saviors. They are their saviors. They are our oppressors. We the chosen people of God. Gotta be. Ain't nobody else. Ain't nobody else. It, it's not you. It is not you. We the only ones fit the curses. We the only ones that fit the signs. We the only ones. Only one group of people on this planet fit every curse. Every single one. It ain't you. This shit ain't about you. You just here to help fulfill the prophecy. That's my opinion. Let me do this one too. Hold on. Let me do this too. Hold on, wait. You can look this up too. This is another curse. Deuteronomy 28 and 37. Let me do this. Yeah, read this. Who who this fit? Who this fit? Don't fit you? Then hold on. Let me say this, right? Because they like to say, uh, when we get to talking like this. Black people are just writing their self into the Bible. Well, this shit was already written. It is written. It's already written. We didn't write the Bibles and shit like that. We, we reading the same Bible. You you got a Bible. Yeah. Let me ask you this, right? If we writing ourselves in the Bible, why you can't write yourself in there? Serious question. Why you can't write yourself in there? You know why you don't want to believe it and you just can't believe it? Because you hate black people. That's all it is. To see, when it comes to black people, when it comes to these Negroes, the sky not blue no more. No, it ain't. Oh, no, it's like sky blue. It's not, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. it's been great lately. And it, yeah, grass ain't green no more. Grass ain't green no more. It's like dark green. I mean, like a, a greenish or a teal. Or, yeah, no, 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 no. It's not green no more. When it comes to these American Negroes, shit don't stink no more. No, it don't. Uh, well, it's, I mean, it stinks, but it's not, it doesn't really stink. It's got like a strong, pungent uh, odor that turns my stomach. It's, it doesn't really stink. Yeah. Yeah. It don't stink. Shit don't make sense no more. Shit don't make sense no more. When it comes to us, that's how deep these people hatred is for us. It's got to be the most high trying to teach us a lesson. In my opinion, that's the only thing that makes sense. Cause it don't make no sense for these people to hate us that much. We never did none of them. They did the shit to us. This is prophecy being fulfilled. Now let's take a look at this curse. Why, why, why we keep fitting all the curses? You don't fit this. Latino man, you don't fit this. Asian man, you don't fit this. Arab man, you don't fit this. White man, you definitely don't fit this. Yeah, African man, sorry, you live, yeah, we same complexion, nappy hair, all that shit, but you don't fit this. You don't nobody fit this but us. One, this small group of people fit this. We fit all the fucking curses. Let, let me read this to you. And you shall become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword amongst all nations where the Lord will drive you. All these people hate us. All these people hate us. That ain't a problem. Who fit that? Did I make that up? Don't nobody else fit that but us. I made that up. The same. He said that this curse right here will happen. And all and and you shall become an astonishment, a proverb and a byword amongst all nations where the Lord will drive you. There's only one place that really could happen. That's in America. And it only happened, and, it, and that curse right there, supposed to happen to the same people that that uh, that uh, supposed to go into slavery on ships. Who are those people? Who are those people that went into slavery on ships? Who are those people, man? Who are those people? I know. Where are these mystery people at? I need to start seeing these mystery people that's fitting all these curses. Cause I'm fitting them. I'm, I, I fit all of them. I don't know. I fit all of them. Yeah.
Where are these other mystery people that fit the curses? Don't make sense, do it. It's got to be us. It's got to be us. That's why we'll never have a friend. That's why we'll never have a friend. But that's all right. Let me do this, right? Because this shit ain't about them. It's about us. The whole shit is about us. We the only ones that fit the signs. So we, we don't need to worry about them. They aren't our friends. They don't give a fuck about us. Fuck them. They, they lost over there. They came over here to, to worship white people. We, th we thinking that we getting allies. No, we getting other white supremacists. And, need, and this white supremacy is it, a, a these white devils, they vicious. They are weaponized these people against us. We watching this in real time. They telling lies, talking about we we fucking with Asians. And the Asians like, oh. Yeah, yeah, it is them. Yeah, yeah. Please don't do it again, white man. Will, yeah. It is the blacks. It's the blacks. They weaponizing these motherfuckers. Cause this the promised land for them. This the promised land. For all immigrants, it's been hell for us. Hell. We we wanted these people over here, and it blew up in there, and then and, and it blew up in our face. Fuck them. They weren't here with us from the from the beginning. Now let me go here, right? Hold on, let me do this. Alright. Now, this is the foundational black American page. Right? I just wanted to do this though, because it made me feel good. To see this shit. You go check it out too. That go the address up there. You see it, nigga. Come on and get on around there. Now, I ain't about to go through every picture, but I just want to show you this, right? We ain't never had no motherfucking friend. We don't need one. We survived the most hor hor horrific shit ever. Ever. In the history of this world. Done, done by the monster, the beast, the devil. These people ain't built like that. Because if they was, if they was, they'd still be at home fighting with their people. They went and threw it all away. So we asking these people for too much. We the tough ones. We the ones that can handle this shit. We the tough ones. They ain't have to deal with none of this shit. Let me, let me give you some feel good shit. And I'm going to get y'all up out of here, man. Yeah, look at this. This is the foundation of black American. Let me do this too, right? Now, you might not agree with everything Tariq Nasheed say. But he got this right. Period. He got this right. I, I don't agree with everything he say either. I, I don't agree with everything no man say. I ain't never met a man that I agree with every little thing he say. It's some shit that I'm going to say you ain't going to agree with. But you can tell that my heart in the right place, right? Can you, can you, can you tell that my heart is in the right place? I ain't got no malice when I'm doing these videos. I ain't trying to hurt nobody feelings or nothing. I'm pointing out some real shit. No, hold on. Let me say this. I'm trying to hurt your feelings if you're trying to hurt black people feelings. Because we the fighters. We the ones that been here. You just you you just on the bandwagon. But I ain't, I ain't doing this shit out of no spite or no hate for no other race. No, I'm doing this out of love for my people. Now, let me give y'all some love. I ain't going over every picture. You go, go over there yourself. Look, let me ask you this, right? We've been in this shit by ourselves. Shout out to Tyreek Nasheed. I don't agree with everything he say, but he got this right. That's big bro. That's our big brother. He been fighting for a long time for us. He been fighting for a long time. He been fighting. That's one of our freedom fighters. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can put him in there with Harriet, Marcus, Marvin, uh, not Mar uh, goddamn uh, Malcolm. Yeah, all of them. He go in there. He in there. He in there. We put him in there too. I like him. You know what I mean? Look at this. This the foundation of Black American pay. These is Negroes. These are foundational black Americans. These are descendants of slaves. The American descendants of slaves. That's who these is. These niggas. These niggers. These people were called niggers. Niggers. Yes, niggers. These niggas. Do you see an Asian anywhere in this picture? Me neither. I don't. Me neither. What about an Arab? You see an Arab over there? Anywhere in here. Anywhere. Do you see a, a, a Latino? Nope. East Indian? Nope. Nope. We've been right here. Yeah. These, these are our forefathers. Yeah. Them niggas look good too. Them niggas sharp. Got on nice suits and all. We've been doing this. Hold on. Let me say this, right? Boy, I don't know when this picture was taken. Let me let, I don't know when this picture was uh, taken though. 
I don't know when it was taken, but I guarantee, uh, let's say, I'm going to say them, ugh, the dress, that shit, oh, right there, they got on bow tie shit with high water pants with the socks showing, I'm going to say 30s, 40s, 20s, I don't know, go look at these people in the 30s and 40s and 20s, it's going to be a lot of jungle shit, a lot of desert shit, a lot of not turned up shit like this, yeah, and we fought for this, they get to walk in and get fresh, we had to fight to get fresh. Yeah, look at this, right? Them niggas fresh, man. Look at him, man. Look, bow tie shit. Look, he's got a good line up. Look at them niggas. Look, look at him. He trying to holler at her. Look at that. You know, he trying to holler at grandma. You hear me? Yeah, he was a player. You know what I'm talking about? It ain't nobody got as much swagger as us. Ain't nobody built like us. These people imitating us. Let me say this, too, before I get into this. We the niggas, period. I keep saying that. We the niggas. Only a nigga, a real nigga, know what I'm talking about. Everybody else gonna think they know what I'm talking about. We the niggas. We the niggas. We the niggas of that Bible. We the niggas of the rest of the shit too. We the niggas. We the niggas. We is the niggas. Only you, don't, you ain't gonna understand. You think you know, but you don't know what I'm saying. Only a real nigga can understand that. These people over here, these people come over here and call themselves niggas. Can you believe that? A uh, 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 East Indian, an Asian, an Arab. Call them, got white people calling themselves niggas. Oh my God, this is just ridiculous. Yeah. Oh man, they ain't niggas. They imitation niggas. They artificial niggas. They imposter. Uh, they Negro impersonators. They impersonating niggas. They is goddamn uh, transracials and all that type of shit. These ain't no niggas. Let me do this. I'm going to name some names real quick. Just some names I can think of off the top of my head. Fat Joe ain't no motherfucking nigga. Cardi B ain't no nigga. What's his name? Asian Mac ain't no nigga. Uh, Takashi 69 ain't no nigga. Who else? Uh, all them white rap rappers who, who talking about their niggas, they ain't no niggas. Who else? Uh, God, Fresh Montana ain't no nigga. DJ Khaled ain't no nigga. These is immigrants impersonating niggas. These are motherfucking uh, transracials. Like a transsexual transracial. The same way a transsexual. You can't tell me I'm not a woman. Cool, brother. Yeah, if that's what you want to do, that's your business. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you wasn't born a woman. Whatever you got going on, I don't care how you feel. You just wasn't born like that. Ain't nothing against you or nothing. You wasn't born like that. And at the end of the day, to y'all transracials, you wasn't born like that. You know, you don't come from this lineage. You don't, you don't come from this heritage. We the niggas. No, let me do this, man. You know, take pride. Niggas talking about re retire the N-word and all that. Boy, y'all niggas need to give up that soft shit, man. Retire the N-word. Man, listen, bro. I ain't, them niggas ain't retired. These niggas ain't, couldn't retire the N-word. They call these niggas nigger openly. These are our people. Fuck you mean. Nigga, like my nigga Charleston White said, this the greatest group of people ever walked planet Earth. They fought for everybody to be free. Everybody. Without that nigger, Ain't nobody in America free, even the white people. Yeah, this is the great. They ain't did nothing to nobody. They ain't never invaded no land. They ain't never stole nothing. They ain't never, they ain't never uh goddamn enslaved nobody or nothing. All these people wanted to do was be free. That's all we ever wanted. Yeah, but we're gonna get ours at the end, because we the chosen people. Yeah, we're gonna get our shit at the end. All right, I'm gonna get y'all out of here because you know I'll be going off. Yeah. Ah, uh, did I fuck it up? I fucked it up. Oh, man. I fucked it up. Mm, let me do this. Yeah, there it go. Damn, man. I'm fucking up, y'all. Let, let me get out of here, man. I'm hungry. I'm about to go eat. All right. Let me do this. Look. Do you see a Latino? Do you see an East Indian? An Asian? None of that. These the niggas. These the niggers. These are the foundational black American. The, the American descendants of slave. The American Negro right here. I don't see none. We are a beautiful people. Look at these men right here. Handsome men. Handsome. Yeah, we all handsome. Don't I look? Hold on, let me do this. Let me do this too before I get y'all out of here. Don't I look good? Yeah, I look good, don't I, baby? Yeah, I know. Yeah, huh? Yeah, that's it right there. Yeah, because I cause I come from these beautiful people. This who I come from. Who you come from? Yeah, you probably don't even know. You probably you forgot about that. Yeah. These people ain't had no friend. These people ain't need nobody but each other. That's all they ever had. When these people was getting whipped across the back and called nigger and all that shit, with none of these, when none of them East Indians, uh, Asians, Arabs, Africans one here, 
Goddamn, yeah. Uh, the uh, Latinos wasn't here. These people ain't had no friend. Look at these beautiful people. Let's go down some more. I want y'all to go on this shit yourself. So I ain't going to run through every photo. But I just want to, you know, some feel good shit at the end of the video. Look at this. Yes, Lord. Look at this. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yeah, this is it right here. Huh, man. This is it. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, these my niggas right here. I don't know who you other strangers is. Y'all niggas some foreigners. Yes, Lord. Yeah, y'all ain't us. Y'all is not us. You will never be a nigga. I guarantee that. Yeah, look at this. Beautiful people. Look at these beautiful black babies. Yeah, look at Big Mama. Look, she had put you in that rocking chair and rock you to sleep. I remember my grandma used to rock me to sleep. Yeah, she used to rock nigga to sleep. Put you in that rocking chair. Be some of the best sleep you ever had. Some of the best sleep you ever had. You hear me? Like an ambient. Put you right out. She put you in that rocking chair and you like this. Slobbing and everything. That big mama. Yeah, yeah, this our big mama. This ain't nobody else. She don't belong to nobody but us. Yeah, she, she, she from the plantation. Look at these beautiful black babies. Look at us, nigga. That's us, nigga. Huh? Yeah, look at this. Huh? Look at these people. Beautiful. Ain't these people beautiful? Huh? Look at us. That's us. Where was y'all at back then? Y'all was somewhere else. Y'all was doing some other shit. Yeah, we had never have a friend. These people was here by themselves. They was by themselves. Oh, yes, Lord. Look at this. Yeah. Look. Look, my people beautiful. My people beautiful. I don't give a what we do to each other. That's our business. My people beautiful. Look at these beautiful people. These was the niggers. Nigger, that white. Look at that car on the road. That white man, that's probably a white man right there. Probably like, nigger. Probably like, oh, man, fuck him. Let's get out the car, y'all. Let's take a picture and turn this bitch up. Yeah, huh, man. Yeah. See what else? Yeah, I got one of those. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go ahead and get you one. Yeah. Yeah, that's bro with the flag. Yes, sir. Yeah, I need one of them for the for the car. I got one of them too. Yeah, I need one of these for the car though. Yeah, let these lames know. Look at this. Look at this. Uh-huh. Yeah, look at these niggas. Beautiful people. Beautiful. Beautiful people. Handsome men. Yeah, that's where we come from. Yeah, look at this. Look. Huh, man. Huh, man. Do you see a friend back there with them? I don't see no East Indian. I don't see no Asian. I don't. Yeah, these the foreigner amongst us. These, these, these people foreigners. These other pe people foreigners. No, not these people. These people right here, they stayed here. They didn't run away, go get a better life or none of that shit. They stayed here and fought. Huh. These my Native Americans. Yeah. Black Native Americans. Let's get that clear. These the black Native Americans. The black Native Americans. Yeah. Come on, let's keep going. Look at this. Look, beautiful people. Beautiful people. This is where we come from. This is in America. All these pictures are taken in America. Yeah. We been right here fighting. We ain't had no friends then. We don't need no friends now. Huh, man. Let's do it. We keep doing it. Yeah, let's keep doing it. Yeah, look at my nigga. Look, Wild West shit. Wild West shit. Look, nigga got a horse. Look, look at him. Look, at him. he got a look. He got a pole on him. Look, look, he got a pole on him. Look, he got a gun on him. Look, look, nigga been had that hammer. Niggas, niggas been out here with that hammer. Yeah, yeah, these niggas in the Wild West. Yeah, all over America. Yeah, some real niggas. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, yeah, look at these beautiful women. Who the fuck is this? People bothering me. All right. All right. I, I gotta go, y'all. Gonna let me get the fuck off here. Yeah. But look at these beautiful women. Our women been beautiful. Y'all need to start covering back up. Yeah, y'all done got draped off into this other shit. Yeah. Yeah, let's take a look. Oh, I did that. I ain't about to go through all these. Let me see. Yeah, hold on. I gotta go through this one. Yeah. Look at this. Miles Davis. Where the fuck is they Miles Davis? No. Huh, Prince. Look at Prince out there with that big fro. Look, huh, man. Huh, man, that's the ancestor prince. Huh, man, yes, sir. Yeah, look at, look at Muhammad Ali. Nigga, here at hands. Yeah, they ain't got no Muhammad Ali. They ain't got no Muhammad Ali. He was tough. He gave up so much for us. He forfeited so much for us. He could have just kept being that heavyweight champion of the world. They took his title. They took his career. He went to the Olympics and fought for this country. And they did him like that. 
them devils. Yeah, but that's been our history. That's that's our story. If you ain't fought no fight on this land about no racist shit, you ain't a nigga, bro. You a pretend nigga. You a fake nigga. That's part of our heritage. That's part of our culture. We the beautiful people. We we fighters. We fight. Huh, man? Look at Ali. Look, he put them hands on shit. That's the great one. You know what I'm saying? He the greatest. You see, I don't go through all these, man, because I don't feel like going through all this shit. Oh, yeah. Let me, let me, let me, let me do this. Yeah. Elijah Muhammad. We all know him. It's Martin Luther King. You got to get on here, man. Look at these people right here. Beautiful people. This is our people. Look at this. Look at these niggas. Look. Sharp nigga. Look at them niggas. Soup song. Big soup song and all types of shit. What was these other people doing? We didn't need them to have no big soups and all that shit. We've been fighting. We've been fighting. Period. And we're going to continue to fight. And we're going to get our blessing in the end. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Look at mama. Look. That's mama right there. She probably 300 years old. She only look 80. Huh, man. That black don't crack. Look at mama out there. Look. Yeah. She got on that big road with her shit all turned up. Look. She got her shit all turned up, chilling, cooling. You know, that's big mama in them. Uh-huh. Look. Oh, yeah. We know about my nigga. Huh, man. Oh, man. That's that's the greatest American to ever live. In my in my opinion, that's the greatest American to ever live. Jack Johnson. Yeah, heavyweight champion of the world. Let me close with this. We don't need no friends, y'all. We the chosen people. We the chosen people. If if the Bible true, we the motherfucking niggas. We the niggas. Period. We don't need them. We thought we needed them. They ain't nothing but some white supremacists. And this white man is going to use them to his advantage. Because there's something special about us. This shit bigger than hate. It's bigger than hate. It's much, much bigger than hate. This is something different. This is different. Because at this point, it can't be about no power. Could it really be about power? When you got 11,000 immigrants at the Mexican border willing to do whatever you say. Willing to do whatever this white man say. Whatever this white man say, they willing to do it. They running away from their situation. So they want to come to um, to America. Yeah, not when you got 11,000 right there. Not when you got millions of people trying to get into this country. That's, that's going to be submissive to you. That's going to do whatever you say. It can't be about power. You already know. These niggas ain't never going to submit to you. We going to keep fighting. Period. It don't matter. We will fight you to the death. We have always fought you to the death. Yes, you kicked our ass. Yes, you had us in slavery. Yes, you did everything sinister. You raped us. You robbed us. You degraded us. It don't matter. We not never going to stop fighting you. Period. Period. And you understand that. The same way that us American niggas are, um, these American Negroes are, um, Experts on white people, they experts on us. They know that we never going to stop. Yeah, these other motherfuckers, they stop fighting. They just want to be around you. We trying to figure out a way to get away from you. We never going to stop. I hope you know that. And, and you do know that. So that's why you you want to use them to your advantage. Now they trying to play a game of a, a, a of, um, erasing us. Replacing us with this submissive African. With these... Uh, with these Latinos who acting like they black, they do not come from this bloodline. Period. Period. These people do not come from this bloodline. They haven't. They not living out these curses. They not living out these curses. We the niggas, y'all. We the niggas. I think I said enough, man. I said what I had to say. <laughs>